Welcome to a new Vlog project video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, this little guy which is called ESP32 Canlight and this is a hacking slash development board uh, for a CAN interface. It's based on the ESP32 and this is the result of uh, my work into hacking the CAN bus on my VW Golf. I have not made any significant progress other than what's shown in Vollog 342 on the actual hacking of the CAN bus, the firmer side of things, simply because I got very busy with my professional work. You know, I do consulting, I design and build electronics for my clients. I got very busy in the past few months so I couldn't put as much time into this project as I wished but nonetheless I found the time to uh, design and refine this board because it's already at its uh, second revision and this is what we're going to be talking about in this video I'm gonna explain some of the design decisions that I made for this board and maybe you can take something with you from this video maybe you can learn something and use it in your next projects a special thanks goes out to the sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com, which is the official provider of printed circuit boards for the Vollog channel. They manufactured both the uh, first revision and the second revision of this board. And as you can see, the uh, results are perfect, uh, just as every time I use their service. So let's jump right into it and I'm going to walk you through some of the design decisions that I made. But do keep in mind that the board was not really designed to be a uh, universal development board hence the uh, minimum number of IOs available but this was designed rather as a development board tailored towards what I needed which was a couple of high side load switches one or two a CAN interface and the ability to control and update the firmware wirelessly with plenty of uh, processing uh, power and flash memory and this led me to design decision number one, which was using an ESP32. And the ESP32 has plenty of processing power, plenty of flash and RAM memory. It has a built-in CAN controller. And well, as everyone knows, it's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. Everyone knows the ESP32 runs at 3.3 uh, volts. And this led me to design decision number two, using a DC to DC converter with a uh, wide enough uh, voltage input to accommodate for any variations that might be seen in a car 12 volt system. I wanted something reliable from one of the big names in the industry, but also I didn't want something that was super expensive or hard to find although for the last part hard to find has been redefined for the past six months as the global chip shortage continues to uh, create problems for even the simplest of parts. In the end I settled for this LMR14006 which at that time had plenty of stock with any of the big distributors right now it's not so much uh, but you can still find it with some Asian distributors. For protection I also added a uh, series diode as well as a uh, PTC in front of the regulator. Next decision number three was made regarding the uh, CAN transceiver because the ESP32 does contain the controller part but it cannot drive the actual CAN signals, the differential signals on a CAN bus. For that you need to add an external transceiver and the uh, decision here was uh, pretty easy. I went with the well-known SN65 HVD231 and I have added a jumper so I can connect or disconnect the 120 ohm uh, resistor uh, and this is based on the requirements of the use case. Some networks will have this on the gateway as some expect it uh, on the end device but in most cases your car already has these uh, on the CAN bus itself so that's why uh, I have mine disconnected here. Next uh, decision had to be made in order to provide a couple of outputs capable of uh, switching 12 volt loads. In particular, I want the ability to drive and activate a rear backup camera system based on uh, detecting when the car is in reverse from the CAN bus or when a certain switch was activated. Now, after a bit of searching and filtering, I settled for uh, these VN750PS chips which once again at the time of uh, design were widely available with the big distributors, but not anymore. These are some pretty nice uh, drivers capable of up to 6 amps, uh, which is more than what I need, with a bunch of protection features like overcurrent, over temperature, 
transient protection and that's exactly what you need in this sort of project they are designed specifically for automotive systems and that pretty much completes this little board i designed and at this point i can just write firmware and read data of the can bus or put any data i want on the can bus well at the same time having the uh, capability to uh, turn on or off these two channels I think this makes it a pretty versatile little can hacking slash development platform because it's based on a super well-known chip and you can use either the ESP IDF or Arduino uh, to develop your code for this board. Now I would be curious to hear your feedback on this little design. I'm releasing this as open source just as the usual. Uh, there will be a link below to my GitHub page so you can check out the uh, source files. You can make your own, you can make changes for example you need more outputs that's very simple you have available ios on the sp32 you just add more of the vm750 chips and you can drive more loads the board was designed in keycad so it's all very simple to do the modifications you need now i think i have parts left to build maybe another one or two of these boards uh, which i'm gonna make available through my uh, tindy store that is also linked in the description below and on screen right now i won't be making more of these in the future because of the global chip shortage uh, it would be fairly difficult for me to obtain everything i need to build more so yeah there's only going to be one or two available for sale on tindy so hurry and get yours today Oh, and a quick request just before i end this video i would really appreciate it if you'd smash that like button because that's what the youtube algorithm wants in order to recommend this video to other people so it always helps when people uh, smash the like button or if you'd like to support the channel via patreon you can do that with as little as one dollar per month every little bit counts and uh, i'm not thanking my patreon supporters enough but they do really mean a lot for this channel as always thank you for watching and i will see you next time